want to welcome you to this fourth distinguished annual conference of the African Pension Association. The fourth annual pension conference therefore is an opportunity for us to generate insights, ideas and to find solutions to the current pension inclusion challenges in Africa. In our capital market development work, we see the pension industry as a major catalyst for change in the region, and it is undoubtedly an important player in sustainable development in Africa. So what is promising is that in Africa, the assets under management in the pension industry continue to grow year on year. Uh, I think currently in excess of about 1 trillion USD and counting. So as we collaborate, as we dialogue, as we discuss today, we are looking at what are those sustainable solutions for pension inclusion in Africa. I'm optimistic that the discussions over the next two days will be a step in the right dis uh, direction, affording us the opportunity to collectively brainstorm and formulate actionable solutions in ensuring sustainable pensions inclusion across the globe. When I was moving around the country, with management, popularizing savings for old age. A very young man asked me, Chairman, you're emphasizing we save for the future. But as we save for the future, we do not have what to eat today. So how can I plan for tomorrow when I'm not sure of today? Pension managers and investment managers we cannot be left behind in this conversation around sustainability. Things like VAT, a portion of the VAT, however small, can be set aside for somebody's pension because we know that those lowly down in society actually suffer a lot, especially when they are acquiring foodstuffs and other products. How to embrace informal sector workers into different pension arrangements. There is a gap in terms of knowledge. They, they don't seem to understand that this is money for your pension. There's no way to leave insurance behind if pensions will thrive. The large number of Africans that still do not have a formal pension to sustain one upon retirement. Advances and improved access in public health, better nutrition, and general better living standards have improved life expectancy on the continent. This has led to an important demographic shift with longer lifespans of at least more than 20 years after formal retirement. Let us therefore pledge to collaborate and cooperate to collectively ensure a secure and dignified retirement for all. The African Development Bank will be more than happy to work closely with the African Pensions Supervisors Association to expand pension coverage across Africa. Mm -hmm.